If you must weep, then weep. Are you already past it? You are unflappable. I will give you that much. In that case, I will remain silently supportive. You are right that we must keep moving ever onward. Professor. Professor, welcome back. I was... We all were... <sighs> You've been on our minds. Know that your enemies are my enemies. I will do all I can to help you find justice. There is no one else I can... My strength is yours alone. I will fight as you command. I will kill anyone, should you ask it of me. Professor. I'm not even close to being strong enough. I mean, Gerald was so much stronger than me. That's enough. Whatever happens, I have to make my own way in this... You gotta keep yourself active during tough times. That's how I got through it when I lost my parent. If you need help with anything, just come and see me. Eating and training are my specialties. goes. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Professor. Hello there. Professor. It is a shame what happened. I am sorry. Leave some flowers. Yes, don't push yourself too hard too soon. It's okay to allow yourself to be sad right now. Losing someone dear to you, well, each loss is unique, 
but it's a feeling I know very well. That said, Professor, I... Oh no. Professor, thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. fun to be around. It's such a loss. <sighs> I trained with Gerald just the other day. Why? Why did he have to go? It's too awful. Do you have time for a request? Quietly into the vault. What? This isn't still. Oh, there you. Hmm. Right, right. Professor, I um, I brought some flowers for Gerald. It's the least I can do. So anyway. Something like this happened, but I do. Sir Gerald must have been very. Hey there, Professor. I was thinking it might be nice to join your class. I'm not unhappy where I am, but I was just thinking that maybe if I was with you, well, I might learn even more. You're the kind of gal a girl could pay attention to, you know? Oh, yeah? That's. I'm looking forward to spending more time with you, Professor. I'm sure you will pull through this because you're so strong, Professor. We don't know the nature of our enemies. If we underestimate them, I agree they must be defeated. But I also feel we must approach this with prudence. Pretty tactless, honestly. He always looked like such a. Professor, I'm so glad you're okay, Professor. Oh, Professor, he must be starving. Mercy and I made some sweets for you. We were thinking that if you were to eat something sweet, it might help you feel better. <laughs> Baking sweets is my specialty. I'm sure they'll do the trick. Please lend us your ears. Ferdinand is saying impossible things. I do not see what is impossible. All I said was that if you want to go back, you are... Someone close to us has turned up dead. You were already told. I am learning here, from the Academy. What are you... I am not returning to home until I have grabbed my goal. I will not be listening to the words of Ferdinand. No, look, I did not... to Gerald. It's... There's anything I can do. Simply ask. 
even if what you desire is revenge. I'll gladly lend you my power. We can't let them get away with this. My cook. Hmm. Right. I do. S Yeah, this. I haven't lost a but even while you're standing. There is no one here who has not heard tales of Geralt's valor. We have suffered a mo- I do not know what if there is any- Professor, people are saying horrible things about Marianne. They're saying she's friends with the bad guys. If- Leave it alone, Hilda. It doesn't matter. That would be the quickest way to resolve this. Come on, Marianne. Let's give it our all. Hey. Professor? Dark expressions don't suit you, Professor. But, um... It seems this month will be a quiet one around here. There aren't many knights around to liven things up. Most of the knights are gone, seeking out the enemy. Isn't that a bit much? I agree it's important. But is it a good idea to neglect the safety of the monastery? What do you think, Professor? I agree. We can send some knights after our enemies, but so many? It makes the church seem reckless. <sighs> um, Professor? Do you think we'll still be if dangerous? I hope that... When I heard that Monica something was that said, I wonder if Edelgard is also.
instead of the infirmary. When did I... Oh, boy. How are you feeling, Professor Manuela? So vain? What do you need at this hour? You don't remember? Well, you collapse in the infirmary, and... That doesn't sound like me. Wait. No. I remember. The truth is, something sad happened. So I did what I always do to forget my trouble. Anyway, I found you passed out on the floor, helped you up, then carried you back here. And what were you doing in the infirmary late at night? Not bringing a girl there, I hope. No, N nope, I was definitely alone. I just, you know, I just had a bad feeling and I decided to look around to see if anyone needed my help. Ugh, oh, my poor head. Are you all right? Here, have some water. What a thoughtful young man you are. You're a real gentleman, compared to that jerk who just... That good-for-nothing guy who strung you along, whispered sweet nothings in your ear, then shattered your heart beyond repair? I agree. He's a jerk. Oh no. Did I say those things to you? Actually, your version had more details. Very detailed details. Oh dear. You know, Professor, you're a good catch. It's a shame that you've had no luck with men. You need a guy like me. Somebody who sees your beauty and appreciates how tender you are, emotionally, and how much love you have to give. You're a smooth talker, even when you don't mean what you say. I'm going to change, so shoot, okay? Sure, sure, I can take a hint. Rest up, Manuela. Thank you, Sylvain. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Did he just call me Manuela and not Professor? That sly little... Although... Hmm... Me? With Sylvain? Now there's a crazy thought. It's hard to sneak out with singing with other Excuse me. Not just Tomas, but Monica too. We can't be sure who to trust anymore, can who are these people really? What do they want? Goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person when the cold rain washes the body. Receive them in. That's a morning scripture from. I pray that. failing was clearly our own. We didn't notice the enemy's invasion. And now, Gerald, I... I apologize. There is nothing I can say to atone for our sins. Professor, please do not let your guard down even among the people of the monastery. There is no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. First Tomas, and now Monica. I am so sorry. The failing was clearly our own. We didn't notice the enemy's invasion. And now, Gerald, I... I apologize. 
There is nothing I can say to atone for our sin. Professor, please do not let your guard down even among the people of the monastery. There is no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. Monica Von her transformation must have something to do. Sadly, that is the extent of my knowledge. been much for condolences. You have lost your father now more than ever. Do I understand how very lucky I am that you... Professor, if there is any... Well... You've lost someone very dear to you. I'm so... You have my sympathy. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. We can't do all the teaching, but at least we can lighten the load for you. I've always seen strength in your eyes. I know you'll recover. You're a very... Hmm. Right. I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss. It's about the weapon that killed Geralt. Will you listen? It was a dagger. But I know enough to know it, it wasn't made of iron or steel because, well, because whatever it was, the wound it left wasn't normal. Who could make a blade like that, do you figure? I wonder who they... Oh, is something hiding just behind... That ring! I have seen it before. Ah, I know. Gerald showed that ring to you beside a grave. Do you recall? He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. That means it's yours. He also said that you should gift that ring to someone special. Excuse me, Professor. How are you holding? I know how heavily grief weighed. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. Hmm. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act as if, perhaps, the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imp Thinking of it like that, it is possible that this- How they managed such a convincing change- How could something like that happen to Gerald? You're inspiring. What's that? What? Captain Gerald's been killed? I can't believe it. From all I'd heard about the man, he was so strong. What's that? Hey you, listen up. I've got something to re- But maybe now isn't the time? You seem down. Got something on your mind? I hope you know I'm here for you. If you ever have your own stuff to report, that's what friends are for. Unless it's about money, in which case, I'm busy.
Okay. This month feels different, doesn't it? Garrick mocked this is why I've kept to my I don't want to be anywhere near whatever's about to happen. See you're up and at him again, yeah? Good on you. No use crying over the past. Balthus, have some sensitivity. Who knows what the poor deer is going through right now? That poor deer can hear you, you know. Talking about someone like they're not there. How cold can you get? Uh, a fair point. Please, Professor, forgive my indiscretion. You have my condolence. Remember, the first step to healing is a hefty dose of revenge. Get out there and get to it. Raised you, yeah? It was all you had. You must be feeling a lot right now. When a parent dies, it really leaves a mark. So feel what you need to, no matter how that looks. But know that your inner fire will keep you moving ahead through even the hardest times. like you're having a hard time. Not that I can really understand what you're going through. I know that this is painful, but don't lose hope for the future, okay? Someday you'll be able to accept what's happened. And in the meantime, you have plenty of friends here to support you. Me included. This looks dope. I've got...
I appreciate. I don't. When it comes...
I must ask you. Is that so? We can handle it. Of course. Here's the result. I've deepened my under- I worked on getting the hang- Learning these things gives me great- Singing is nice, isn't it? I'm pleased to have been invited. I am grateful. Of course. Of course. Yes. Of course. Of course. I see. Have confidence. I truly believe you can lead your students down the right path. <laughs> it will be nice to gain a better understanding of each other. <laughs> yes. This crown is rather elaborate, but it has been passed down through generations of archbishops. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. Oh, this is delicious. I can't believe I made it. Yes, you do have some talent. What's the matter? Have I got something on my face? No, Sylvain. Recently, I've heard rumors about you. Oh, yeah? Which is it that I'm terrible to girls? Or the rumor where I bring terrible misfortune to the girls I date? I don't, by the way, in case you're about to ask. Oh, I also heard about how I'm total trash and everyone should avoid me. That might be my favorite. Well... You don't lack for self-awareness. The way I figure it, if I can't be respected, I can at least be well-informed. You are being described as indefensibly worthless. Indefensibly? <laughs> That's a bit harsh. I already knew your reputation concerning women, but these new rumors deprive you of all redemption. I did try to correct them, but I doubt I was believed. Well, thank you all the same. Listen, you don't need to worry what people think about me. As you well know, it's not easy to correct misunderstandings or change people's minds. And if I'm going to behave so badly, it seems misunderstandings are inevitable. I could not be silent. You saw me as a person rather than merely as someone from Dusker. I want you to be seen as a person too. I appreciate that, Dudu. You think the world will ever see us that way? Maybe. I can't tell if you're joking or not. 
but I like it. Then we will get along. Are you injured? To do. Saving the day again? Apologies. I'm the one who owes you an apology. You've saved my life how many times now? If I keep being so callous, I'll seem ungrateful. No matter. But... I'm accustomed to it. I'm sorry to do. Why? Because the way I speak to you is unnecessarily harsh. The truth of it is, I lost someone very dear to me in Dusker. The punishment came swift to your people, and when I heard of the slaughters, well, I thought it was a punishment well earned. I thought the people cruel and heartless, deserving of the tragedy that ultimately befell them. But you, you're different. You seem nothing like the people of whom I speak. So why not speak back against how I and so many others feel? Why not question this unfair prejudice and tell me I haven't the right to hold a grudge against you? If you just speak to me, if you tell me the truth about all of this. I do not know the truth of it myself. His Highness says the tragedy was not the fault of my people, but just like anywhere. There were many different people in Dusker, some very good, and others very bad. It is not unimaginable that some may have conspired to take part in that wickedness. Perhaps we are merely victims, or perhaps we are regicidal monsters. Whatever the truth of it is, you are not to blame. The people I hate are the ones who are responsible for that whole mess. You, you just got caught up in all of it. Ingrid. You've rushed to my side. You've saved me countless times. I am sorry for how I've treated you. Truly. If you think of me as your ally, that will suffice. For me, that is enough. <laughs> to give you more gratitude for the commoner techniques you showed me. Commoner techniques? Oh, you mean when I haggled for you? Yes, it has made for many savings. I was telling the professor, we both are so happy. <laughs> really, it wasn't a big deal, but I'm glad the professor was pleased. Hmm. Uh, what is it? Do I have something on my face? For a lot of time, I was living in the Imperial capital. Then I came here, to the monastery. Both places contain many nobles, and many chances to be learning noble customs. That's true. When you're surrounded by new people, you naturally pick up all kinds of stuff. Though with nobles, there's a lot to learn. All the etiquette is overwhelming. Not to mention the dancing. Ah, I just keep stepping on my partner's feet. In Fodlin, the nobles are training for dancing since their youth. They have much skill. When I was a kid, I spent most of my time helping out at my parents' restaurant and playing with my brother and sister. Back then, I never dreamed I'd ever be studying at a proper academy with all these nobles. I have learned many customs of the nobles, but few of the commoners. I am hoping you will teach me. Techniques, secret skills, anything. All of the things. Secret skills? <laughs> I don't think I know anything that fancy. That is not the truth. The technique for money saving could be helpful even for nobles. It has use for all the world. I don't know about that. Really, I don't have any special secrets. Commoner wisdom is only to be shared with commoners then? I have understanding. Forbidden knowledge. Ash. How about we make a bargain? 
we can be trading information. In Bridget, powerful curse techniques are passed down, and we can speak with the spirits. I can be teaching you these things. What? C curses? No, 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 no. I, I don't need any dangerous information like that. But if you really insist, I guess I could teach you a few things about what life is like on the streets. Would that be enough? You will be showing me the secret techniques? I cannot be waiting! Uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Ingrid, do you have a moment? We're going to perform an opera in the cathedral. Uh, we are? Yes! It's a small one, but I need some volunteers. Let me tell you, Alois is very excited. He's already doing a ton of work for the show. I see. What's it about? Classic opera fair. A tragic love story. A princess who falls in love with a handsome commoner. But our princess, she carries the fate of her country on her shoulders. And no matter how in love she is, she can't just marry whoever she wants. Or can she? That's quite a story. Sounds tragic and beautiful. Who will be playing the princess? Me. I was a singer in an opera company, though I hope I'm not being too presumptuous casting myself. Even if you're not interested in being part of the production, you will come to see it, won't you? I'm asking everyone to dress up properly. I want it to be a stylish and elegant night. That does sound quite lovely. And I do want to go, but I, um... Please, don't worry if you can't make it. I understand we're doing this on such short notice. No, no, it's not that. I just... Uh, I struggle with the elegant part of things. It's not often that I do myself up in elegant clothing and makeup and such. If fashion's your concern, lady, you're in luck. I am? If you don't dress for the occasion, no one will take you seriously. But don't worry about a thing. I'll happily work my magic on you. When it's time, I'll meet you in your room. We'll make you the most beautiful woman in the theater. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Marianne? Oh, yes? May I sit here? There isn't another open spot. Um, you may. I'm sorry. I should have eaten in my quarters. I know you asked me to stay away from you. No, it's fine. About the other day, when you said you didn't regret risking your own life. I apologize for whatever foolish thing I said to upset you, truly. But... May I ask what happened? It's just... There is only misfortune for anyone who comes near me. Misfortune? I'm afraid so. Especially those with complete disregard for their own safety. Ah, so I didn't defend you. You're trying to tell me I should be more concerned for my own safety. Well, I suppose I could improve in that regard. As for you causing misfortune, I think that's far from the truth. In fact, I find you to be a lucky charm of sorts. Me? Lucky? I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that at all. My entire life up until this point has been nothing but a string of unfortunate events. But misfortune finds us all. Perhaps those around you have suffered or even perished. But look at you. You're still here, alive and well. That's... It doesn't feel good, does it? To be the one left behind? You feel guilt for not dying along with the others. Uh, how did you know? You and I are the same. Maybe you should fear being cursed with misfortune for coming near me. <laughs> <laughs> 
A smile and a laugh. Coming from you, that's a rarity. This must be my lucky day. I just find the idea amusing. It's strange to think that someone like you could have anything in common with me. Is it so terrible a thought? No, no, it's not that. It actually makes me happy. As though there's finally someone who understands how I truly feel. <sighs> so full. That fruit plate really hit the spot. Time to get nice and snug. Maybe do some sewing. Hey, you Bernadetta. You look pretty happy. Celebrating something? What? N no, nothing at all. Hey, relax. It's okay if you'd rather not tell me. By the way, I believe you left something in the library. A half-written manuscript? Your own work, I presume? I was curious who it belonged to and gave it a read-through. You're a really talented writer. I'm sorry. I peeked at the first page, then the next, and I couldn't stop. I think it's good enough to publish. It's the kind of adventure story that will make people laugh and cry. I love how you never know what mess the hero is going to get herself into next. I'm dying to read more. Uh, your mouth's hanging wide open. Bernadetta, are you okay? Sorry, um, was someone talking about a story? Yes, that would be me. I read your book. <laughs> yeah, and I loved it. I'm so humiliated. Please forget everything you read. Humiliated? No, I think the word you're looking for is humbled because, and she's gone. Now, what do I do with this book? Oh, we actually read it. I regret everything. Even if I burn the pages, I can't burn his memory. Not unless I throw him in the fire, too. No, that's awful. Don't think things like that, Bernie. <laughs>